welcome back again to my channel and for you guys Indonesian selamat datang lagi di channel saya Albert Kurniawan I know uh, semalam ini banyak yang tanya-tanya siapa sih si Albert Kurniawan so uh, hari ini saya akan explain siapa yang sebenarnya Albert Kurniawan Sino si Albert Kurniawan and uh, ano yung mga gusto ko mga ganun this is the right video for you because I'm gonna share with you guys my 25 facts about me yung first definitely my name is Albert Kurniawan. Alam nyo na yun, di ba? 1 million pesos question is, I am 34 year old. And then, oh my God, nireveal ko yan sa... Huh? Okay. <laughs> oh my God, guys. Okay, uh, oh my God, na-regret ko yan, guys. <laughs> okay, keep it secret, ha? Kung nakita nyo sa labat, huwag nyo sabihin na ako 34 year old. So, sabihin nyo na lang na ako 21. I was born in Indonesia, so I'm Indonesian. I am second uh, of the four children of my parents, so I'm the second. So, sabi nila parang my mid middle child syndrome, parang feeling ko hindi naman. Kasi my family treat us fair enough, and in fact, if I can share with you guys, I am Aww. the most favorite one. So, if my siblings watch this, yes, accept it. So, I'll share. Another fact about me, I graduated uh, fashion design school and interior design school. And then, now I am a makeup artist. Another fact about me, I love color blue. Because um, I think when I was young, kasi sanay ako na... Okay, another fact about me. Skip ko muna yung blue na yan ha. This is, mag-connect siya. Another fact about me, when I was young or uh, when I was a baby actually, uh, nung pinanganak ako hanggang when I was one year old, uh, karamihan yung damit ko lahat kulay pula or kulay pink. Yon, another fact yun. Guys, oo, yung lahat ng baby photo ko hindi ko in-expose kasi lahat ng pula ko nakapink kasi um, um, I'm a second child, di ba? So yung first a boy, kuya ko, kuya Henrik. And then yung second ako, so my mom dream to have two kids lang. So one boy, one girl. So, nung nag-pregnant siya, ayaw niya mag-ultrasound or whatsoever. So, kinaklaim niya babae yung anak niya. So, yun. Boom. Lahat ng damit na binibili niya pang babae. So, baby photo ko lahat ng red, pink. And then, I love color blue because yun nga. Lahat ng ano, damit ko kulay red and pink. So, nakikita ka yung tao, parang blue siya. So, lagi ko iniisip na... <laughs> Sabi ko, kailangan kong mag, ano, magkakaroon na kulay blue na damit. So, yun, another fact. I love animals. So, right now, I have 11 dogs in my house and I have 10 cats. So, sila yung parang family ko here in the Philippines. So, yun, I love animal. I love, uh, oh, I have three peacock. I have three chicken. I have um, one parrot. So, ito, yun. Favorite food ko definitely Indonesian food. Uh, nothing close to your um, home cook na food. So definitely kung kailan na mas stress or gutom or depressed, so lagi na hanap ng dila ko yung lasa na Indonesian food. But if I'm here in the Philippines, I can say my favorite ulam here in the Philippines definitely. Um, my God, walang ano kaya na walang ano. Kanyang kanyang ano opinion ng so. Uh, I know a lot of you been suggesting me a lot of Indonesian, eh, Filipino food. Pero for me, yung favorite ko, I think, number one, chicken nasal. I love gising-gising. I love kare-kare. Uh, pero I don't eat the tripe part or the intestine. I like the seafood kare-kare or the oxtail kare-kare. Oh, for most of you knows that I am a lover of Coke Zero. So, yeah, meron dyan. Anyway, yung nagturo sa akin yun natin si Hart, si Hart ang mabista. Kasi um, yung tambayan namin dati na lagi Coke Zero. And then, uh, definitely, I love to travel. So, um, I've been, every time I am stressed or get burnt out sa work, I always try to squeeze in any uh, travel. So definitely my most favorite part so far, uh, of course, Italy, because I not only visiting Italy most of the time, but uh, just because I 
I have uh, Tevia, Tevian made in Italy, so I have a lot of other activities also. I, mean, I know or getting to know a lot of locals there and then they tour me around. And then definitely also yung um, white Christmas trip ko sa uh, oh my God, Finland. Um, and I met with uh, Kim Chu and Sian Lim also during that time. I mean, it was amazing. And then never had a snow So during that time, um, two weeks straight, parang nakikita ko yung snow na 30 centimeters uh, thick na medyo na sobra hot. Pwede, oh yeah, I love to paint. I love to paint, pero pinatay ko ng chika na yan kasi minsan, pagod na ako sa work, makeup service, and then um, I always visit the event office also, like uh, before or after uh, work. And then sometimes in the office, sometimes uh, we stay until 11 and 12 midnight in the office. So when I go home, I definitely sleep. Kaya nga, tumaba uh, ako nung may Tevian. I gain, oh, another fuck yan guys ha, pero oh my god, let's share ko na naman ito. I gain 20 something pound. In total, it's 13 kilogram. So, definitely this 2020, uh, my goal is to bring back my figure. Charo. Figure talaga. <laughs> so, babalikan ko yung figure ko. Ayan, yung figure talaga. Babalikan ko yung... <laughs> Ano, buddy? No, babalikan ko yung katawan ko ulit as before kasi medyo nahirapan na ako kasi dati ako uh, size 28-29 sa jeans or sa pants and then size small definitely sa top and then right now I am size 32 and a half or 33 guys so so for you guys to see me outside so support nyo naman yung journey to lose weight kasi this is most pinakamataba ko ever buong buhay so another fact yan Bakit ganun kapayat ako kahit super lakas ko kumain because every morning I go to the gym and then after gym I'll go straight to uh, a few moments later CrossFit um, so gym one hour with a trainer with lifting and then after that I go to um, uh, CrossFit so another shout out to Avant Guard uh, CrossFit because um, my good friend teaching there, Coach Chris Yang was. Uh, I love to swim because I was a swimmer. I joined um, a national competition in Indonesia before, sa children category. Children category. <laughs> yes, I was grade five until grade six, and and I got bronze. So tanan yung kita ko kay party ng buhay ko. I okay. Another interesting fact about me na lahat ng friend ko na or they cannot. They cannot believe that I do this. I don't consume any hot stuff. Not hot na hang, not spicy. I mean hot na may init. Like when I have coffee, although I don't drink coffee, kunyari soup, soup man lang, I put ice cubes. So yes, all my soup I have ice cube. Hindi naman to the, to the extent na kailangan super malamig siya, maging ice soup. Pero yung at least room temperature. Therefore, yung mga iba kaibigan ko nagugulat siya, Mostly, I eat uh, leftover food straight from the ref. I do, I do that. Because I don't like um, the heat just in the microwave. I don't know why. Siguro na trauma ako when I was uh, 6 or 7 na paso yung dila ko na madala because of uh, hot soup. So after that, I don't like eating anything hot. I studied in Singapore before. Uh, from I was 13 years old, I stay alone in Singapore. Yun. Um, Kasi sa Indonesia kasi, um, I am a Roman Catholic. So sa Indonesia dati is mostly Muslim. Uh, Muslim. So uh, there was a riot before in 1999 or I forgot the exact year. Um, na they are having a movement anti-Chinese or something. We are Indonesian Chinese. So uh, we, we were sent to Singapore. Excuse me. Uh, my brother, my kuya, was sent to Melbourne to study and then I, I studied in Singapore uh, for two years and then my younger siblings follow me and then in total I stayed there for study uh, nine years and then I moved to the Philippines. I love chili, I love spicy just because I'm Indonesian. Sana yun hindi lako. So lahat, another fact guys, lahat yung sinasabi nyo yung kung kumakain ng kayo ng mga maanghang na sumisilip si Papa Moreno. Charat. <laughs> so, I've been eating spicy food all my life and I cannot eat without chili. So, another fact yan. So, sanay na ako. So, walang or never tumatawag sa akin or na, kahit text man lang si Alma Moreno. Never, never, guys. So, yan. Another fact yan. 
I have anxiety attack lately, so maybe this is what they call a midlife crisis. So I am claustrophobic. So I hate taking flight. Uh, I don't like being close in one. Uh, I don't like being in a closed area. So definitely airplane. So very masikip, very uh, you know like uh, close, very. Alam mo yung parang less power ako, yung parang maging powerless uh, beyond my control everything kasi kailangan pang seatbelt, kailangan so yung parang ano, yung parang uh, I normally have anxiety attack. So, another fact, so before long flight or any flight, I'm taking any um, pampakalma. So, yun yun nga, pamuma tea and then I got one also from um, healthy option under the brand Natural. So you guys can check it out and it's healthy and it's uh, not addictive and then especially nowadays for me uh, mental health is really uh, an important issue because me myself before I keep making joke about people na anxiety or whatever planning or no para makalapot sina sa jan nilang para maging belongs or uh, in pero nowadays when the social media is or digital world really overpowered um, so sometimes we live our daily life with a uh, too much pressure so mental health is really important so... oh my god alam nyo ba yung one of my uh, oh my god oh my god kinikilig ako <laughs> just the thought of it kinikilig ako uh, one of my uh, bucket list actually actually most of my bucket list is already uh, uh, naka check siya kasi lagi ko i ano yun yung bawat uh, I work hard and I travel and then I make sure all my bucket list naka check so yung another one that um hindi pa naka check siya kasi feeling ko hindi ko kaya is actually uh, to dive in South Africa with a great wild shark uh, great white shark sorry uh, so definitely it's my top uh, bucket list ngayon kasi hindi ko pa nagagawa kasi hindi ko alam kung kaya ko or biglaan nakulong ako sa cage na yan kinaatake ako <laughs> another fact that I would like to share with you guys. I think this is also important, guys. Because um, when I was younger, I was kind of a kind of a rebel type of kid. Um, Nakaaway ako. Um, pero at the same time, ako excellent ako sa school. Uh, I was first. I was a president of student council. Even when I moved to Singapore, also from Indonesia, I was big uh, also and vote also as a president of the council also there in Singapore, in Jintai Secondary School. And then, um, I think that the message that I want to share everyone, kasi, um, which is also my regrets, um, always, always listen to your parents. Kasi yung time na yun, ako lagi yung parang me against the world. So, as I was saying, na parang feeling ko alam ko lahat. Alam mo yung feeling na yan, di ba? Yung parang your family or your parents try to control everything, but the fact they are just guiding you guys because they've been there, they've done that, so they know that you guys might regret it. So, I think it's really important also to keep um, in mind to listen to your parents because sometimes. Um, Ako kasi, I like to share that one kasi I listen to friends more. But then again, not all your friends are the person giving you the right uh, opinion or the right advice because in the end of the day, deep inside them sometimes have competition with you. So, yun. It's a, it's a fact yan, guys. Kasi um, I am a person, I rather have a small number of friends, uh, but a good quality friends then have a huge number of friends because uh, I was betrayed by my friends twice uh, I cannot share details <laughs> uh, yun nga, lagi ko hindi re-regret ko na if only I listen to my family that time if only I listen to my parents that time but at the same time also if you have a good instinct about what you do and you know that you're right fight for your right but in the good way explain it to your parents and you know, parents uh, normally they digest things slowly and then they'll listen and then they'll understand it sooner or later. Another fact about me when I'm stressed, uh, when I'm down, the way I distress myself is through cooking. I love to cook a lot. You know, sometimes, you know, like uh, I never uh, take course in cooking, but 
just because I love cooking, sometimes when I taste the food, somehow I can elaborate the ingredients in my mind. And then after that, uh, that's how I distress myself. So sometimes, you know, when I'm really stressful, I just go to the grocery. Another fact for you, to makat na naman. And I think that's all about me. And that's all a secret about me. Nasi share ko lahat na pati age ko ngayon hindi regret ko. Pwede ba i? Hindi pwede yan. Ibura natin. Kailangan talaga yun. Okay. So thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait. Uh, for you guys to watch more video from me this coming 2020 because I have a lot of things in store for you guys and Albert Kunya on channel if you're still new in my channel please do not forget to subscribe to my channel please and then support this channel because your click means a lot to me and of course if you think this information fact about me that uh, and then uh, one of your favorite video or um, can be um, a good message to everyone please share it to your friends or loved one and i'll see you guys in my next video